Because it's like a dance. A dance? Three celestial bodies in sync, in harmony, moving together, but also apart. Then, for a fleeting moment, they line up. Syzygy. Syzygy. All right, you got the Earth in between the sun and the moon. That's a lunar eclipse. Yeah, the moon's big moment. Whoa, all eyes on me. See all the eyes on me. You can find the life in the shadows. Illuminate the way the habitat goes. See, I be up, I never sleep. You get blocked from watching me. More than a hideaway, it's like a peekaboo. It's pretty too. You'll see it soon and with the rhythm it cycles. The sun goes by just like a tide. Hey, don't get me wrong, sun and earth are cool. This moment's mine. I get zero to three lunar eclipses annually, where you can see Earth's umbral shadow all over me. Partially, maybe totally. This is the time when no one goes to bed. They stay up to see me red. I don't mind the shadows, not a bit. I like the view from up ahead. Come on, it's on. Don't know if this will last too long. Cause in a little while I know I'll be done. But until then, better turn me up, son. I think I get a lunar eclipse, but what about a solar eclipse? In a solar eclipse, is the moon between the sun and the earth? Like this? Exactly. The moon is about 400 times smaller than the sun, and the sun happens to be about 400 times further from the earth than the moon. So, due to geometry, that's why the moon and the sun look to be around the same size. That's why in a total eclipse, the moon can block the sun. Take it, sun. Shades up, rolled up, the path of the totality lined up. Orbit is smooth, planets can cruise, but earth got that groove. We travel so far around.